Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to bring you all with me to go plant shelf shopping at IKEA. My favorite thing about IKEA is that they have so many things that you never really think you need until you see them there, just like this watering can. They also have many supplies that you can use as DIYs for your plants, such as using this little ladder to mount your plants on. They also have many containers that you can use for terrariums. They also have many beautiful pots that you can use as cash pots. These pots that I found are great for LECA because they look like terracotta, but they're not terracotta. I only recently found out that IKEA sold real plants and plant accessories for some reason. I just never go to IKEA, but since they do, I took the opportunity to look at all the plant things. Since it is winter here in Colorado, their real plant stock is very low. That's just how it is at every nursery as well and the Home Depots and Lowe's. I also picked up LECA because I'm going to be transferring a couple of my plants to LECA so I'm really excited to do that and that bag of LECA was only like five to six dollars so it's pretty inexpensive. This is a shelf that I ended up looking at. I really liked how it had some glass pieces so that the water wouldn't mess it up. They had a black and a white version. I ended up going with the color white because I love how open white makes a room look. I really wanted to show you guys a time lapse of me putting the whole shelf together because I know some people are interested in that. The shelf itself is pretty lightweight, the thing that makes it heavy are the glass pieces.
I didn't really know how to organize my plants, so I just kind of played around with it. I'm sure things will eventually end up moving and I will for sure be adding more plants since I have more space now. And this is what I ended up with. I just wanted to show you guys the setup that I ended up doing for my plants. I will definitely be moving stuff. The things that are up there are things that um, obviously don't fit, are like too tall to be in these little areas, but I think they look good up there. I need to find a different place for my rubber plant though. I don't think I like it there. But other than that, this is pretty much how it is. There are some plants missing, but that's because I'm doing a little project with them. I have this Hoya down here because it needs to be repotted, and I'm gonna do that today, which is why I have it on the ground. Um, I left my Monstera in this little table because it, get, it loves it here, it gets really good sun. So I don't think I'm gonna be moving that anytime soon. And yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm really excited to have more room to get more plants and whatnot. I will keep messing around with the placement of the plants because I don't know if this is exactly how I want them, but for now they're doing pretty good. I did want all like my vining plants to be in the corners so they can look really pretty on the shelves, but for now this is good. Let me know if you guys have any questions, any suggestions of how I should place my plants or anything like that in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.